What is going on, Draw It To Crew? Ramni here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys. And today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to draw Supergirl from the CW TV show. Before we begin, if you are brand new to this channel, welcome. Here in this channel, I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from movies, TV shows, comics, video games, etc. So like and subscribe. Um, make sure to hit that notification bell as well. I had done a Supergirl tutorial way back, like in the beginning of this channel, and I just wasn't pleased with it and I feel like I should do a new one just to make up for the fact that I wasn't just I, it was it was horrible I wasn't I was not happy with that Supergirl tutorial and I can't believe I put it out there a lot of people drew it and they were super proud of it but yeah anyway you will need the female standing pose of version one for this tutorial I have a link to that in the upper right and in the description below make sure you do that first you can follow the tutorial or you can download the template on my website so make sure to do that first before you begin this one all right so here are the tools that you're going to need for this Supergirl tutorial if you want more information about my art tools I have a list that you can check out in the description of this video again you guys there are three things you need to keep in mind as you're watching if you're a subscriber you already know the drill but if not pause it now to read this list of things that you should know before you begin having said all of that you guys grab those drawing tools grab that drawing post template let's get started with our supergirl drawing all right you guys so as you can see i've already got my template printed out so make sure you have this ready and we're gonna go ahead and get started we're gonna zoom in on the face you guys can probably see that i already kind of drew some guidelines for the nose and the eyes um in my reference photo over on the right you'll notice that she's she's got like she's kind of looking up but on in this pose that we're uh, we're doing she's looking down so we're going to adopt adapt it a little bit and don't worry so much about um, this not looking like the actress like I always say it's not the actress that we're trying to draw it's the uh, it's the supergirl character so let's go ahead and get started you guys the first thing I'm going to draw is kind of figure out where the nose is gonna be and I'm gonna make the nose point down it's gonna be a narrow nose like this okay I am going to draw some eyes now so kind of on the left and the right of the nose kind of work your way up to here and here so I found those two points and then I'm going to draw some eyes along those points there so I draw the top curve and then the bottom curve like this This is always difficult because I'm drawing it so small. So it's always nice to have your pencil sharp. And the drawing faces is just a matter of like keeping at it until you get it, until you get the proportions that you like. Okay, so there you go. I think that's that's fine by me. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit, a little bit of a sharp tip at the edges there, and that's kind of just to indicate eyelashes because we're not drawing individual eyelashes we're going to draw um, we're going to draw eyelashes as a whole okay so here oh this is going to be the tough part pupils and just try to get them as best as you can right there in the center okay so I think that's all right so a little bit, I could move this a little bit more to the right, I think. Move this one a little bit darker. And that's, that's good. And the mouth. Draw the top of the mouth there. Kind of goes down. Nice full lips. The lower lip is going to be thicker than the upper there you go and it looks nothing like the actress like i say and that's okay i'm okay with that because if you if you focus too much on trying to make it look like uh, melissa benoist then i mean if that's what you want to do that's fine too but you also don't want to spend too much time on it because you want to draw the full body okay so i drew this curve right there for the bridge of the nose it kind of flows into the eyebrows she kind of looks Asian because of the eyelashes so I might have to take a little bit out of the eyelashes there ok 
okay and then just draw some nice smooth eyebrows and there you go and then here's the forehead line and then the side of the face let's draw some cheeks okay let's bring the chin down a little bit more if if you're drawing females the thing about drawing lines on the face is the more lines you draw on the face on female characters the older they will appear so you want to try to minimize the amount of lines if you want to draw like a younger face a younger look okay so there's there's that it looks it looks it looks pretty asian i'll fix that later on when i start inking okay the part is right here and i apologize that my drawing is a little bit tilted but that's just to accommodate for my wrist it's easier for me to draw this way okay so this one is going to cover part of the eye over here like the the tip of the eye and it goes like that and the other side does not cover the eye at all this goes towards the ear like this okay so i'm gonna draw i kind of drew it earlier but it didn't look right but that's where the ear is and on this side you see a little bit of the ear like that so again it doesn't look like the reference photo but i am using uh cues from the reference photo just like where the hair flows and so here at the top you notice how far it is from the top of the head i brought my hair a little bit higher and then it goes down okay a little past this point right here it curves inward and then hair from underneath goes out there i think i kind of know why it looks asian it's a little too pointy on the corner so i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring that down here as well still looks a little asian to me but again we'll fix that later okay so this goes down now it does this so she's got like a nice um volume to her hair and then there's hair coming out from underneath it like that it looks a little funny if you draw it but i mean that'll all be seamless a little bit later on we're gonna mix it all together so there's there's the head there's the super girl head that slightly looks asian but we'll fix that i'll see if i can fix that later on when i start inking okay so there you go i'm gonna draw this neck going down and let's zoom out and let's start working on the upper body and the upper body is going to be a little bit longer so you guys can see like this body is like narrow or short i want to extend that a little bit longer so i'm just going to draw kind of where i want the belt to be a little bit lower lower than the waistline here and also still following the center there's the center line there you want the waistline to be right here or the belt this goes that way and this goes this way there you go so that makes just lowering that alone just extends and makes the makes the torso longer than it was before okay here you go fill that in fill this in as well Fill in the arms. Okay, I'm going to tuck the thumb in, so I'm not going to draw the thumb. I'll go add a little bit of a bump right there where the thumb is, though. Okay, same thing here, just fill in the arms. As you guys can also probably notice that um, the template that we're using is a pretty, it's a cartoony proportions, big hands, uh, smaller head, that kind of thing. So you'll notice that it's also, you know, you're not, it, it doesn't look like the head is a lot smaller than it would be uh, like it is in the reference photo go all right sleeve goes like this 
kind of into the hand. Same thing right here. Goes into the hand, out like that. Here's the arm. You can give her some bigger arms if you want. There. Let's uh, zoom in and let's do the S emblem along with along with everything else on the torso. So here, just above the chest, here's the chest right here. And right here in this area, I'm going to draw the neckline. Right here is going to be the cape. So that's going to go to the shoulder and then over the shoulder to the back. And the same thing happens over here, but what we're going to do is we're going to have her hair flow from the side of the neck here and just go into the chest this way, kind of into the armpit here. So there you go. Draw some neck lines, one down, one here, one going this way, and then this one goes this way. Okay. The S emblem start over here at the top of the chest. It goes across, it goes below the chest right here. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to find two points here and here. Bring that that way and then this way. And always make sure that like you're you're paying close attention to the center of the uh, the center line on the torso so that your S emblem is at the center. When you're drawing it, remember that there are curves that you kind of have to work around. And there you go. I'm gonna grab myself a sharper pencil. And let's work on that S emblem. So the first thing is an outline all along the inside of that S or inside of that diamond shape. That's it. Okay, I like to work this one first. So draw that curve and then right here tiny triangle like this. Under that tiny triangle is a line going across and then it goes up. Okay. Find a spot right here. This is going to be like where the where the S curve is. Okay. Curve this line. So it looks like that. Now kind of a line parallel to this goes across and then down. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to work down here now. I'm going to draw the bottom line here, the curve. Line across and then down like this. And then across again and it, as it turn like as you reach the edge it turns. And then all you got to do now is draw this line and that is the S logo. Nothing to it. It does take some time. Uh, it does take a little bit of practice trying to get the proportions right and everything. So if you guys got that, then you are good. Let's keep going. We're going to draw now. Um, she's got like this, the seams. So I'm going to draw two lines from here going straight down to the belt. Goes like that. And then it goes down again. And then right at the armpit, there's a side seam over here. And it just very faintly goes down the side. And then this right here, this is a red element. It kind of just goes into that seam. Okay, over here, you see the same thing. And I'm just going to bring it up like this to the chest. And then that's it. She's got an arm armpit to shoulder seam as well. She's got one that runs down this side here on her forearm. And it curls or it curves. It follows the 
arm going up to the shoulder here. And then right along the bicep, she's got that. So those are like red elements of her costume. Okay, and then over here, you see the bicep, nothing much else. There you go. Zooming out, that's what it looks like. So far, so good. Just, I really should be using the, this eraser, you guys. But, you know, to get into the little crevices, it's, sometimes it's good to use this eraser. This eraser doesn't leave any of these uh, things that I have to wipe off constantly. The belt, I'm going to draw uh, outline inside like this. There you go. Zooming out, you'll notice uh, that the hips here are bigger than there are they are in the actress's um, likeness. But don't I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to leave it. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay close attention to where the skirt kind of goes. And the skirt goes mid-thigh, a little bit higher than mid-thigh actually. So I'm going to draw this line across the thighs like so and it's going to be curved and then this one i'm just going to run along to the side like that and then over here it just goes down to the side like this okay you'll notice that these two lines right here they kind of follow down here and they create the front of the skirt I'm going to bring that a little bit lower with a fold. There's like a little fold right here. And I'm going to draw another fold like this. That's part of the skirt. Okay, here's the this side of the skirt. I'll just have it come out slightly like that. And then the other side of the skirt, I'm going to draw a line from the corner up to kind of where the arm is. And then another curl right here. Okay. There you go. Even actually, it looks a little too, it looks a little too long. What do you guys think? Make yours a little bit shorter. I'm gonna leave mine like this, but uh, if you find that yours is too long, then feel free to change it up as well. Not a big deal. Let's zoom out and find the um, the boots. And the boots cover the knees, so let's cover the knees like this. So this one goes this way, and then it goes kind of down and across like this. Okay, and then on the inside, right along here, there's another part to that boot. Okay, let's just fill in her thighs. I'm grabbing another pencil. Right here, we're going to cover the knee. You'll notice that this looks slightly different than the reference photo. The reference photo, the knee is pointing slightly this way, but this one is the knee is pointing forward, so we'll have to adjust. Okay, right here, some wrinkles have the, the 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 knee, the part that covers the knee, kind of stick out. There, get those thighs. Okay, so now let's do the boot. In the boot, you'll notice a lot of wrinkles. And you'll also notice that it doesn't go too narrow. So you wanna make that a little bit bigger along the, along the ankle. And zigzags on the sides here. And then just wrinkly lines going across. Okay, let's do the same thing on this side. I'm not going to make the, the calf muscle as big, and I'm not going to make the ankles as thin. Just to get rid of the cartoony proportions a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, 
sprinkles here. I'm being very random with these lines. And there you go. Okay, so Supergirl's boots. Now, they, they don't have like the, the soles that look like this. They're actually, they look, they look like heels somewhat. So I'm gonna point this down and I'm gonna make it a little bit more pointy. Okay, there you go. So this kind of follows, it curves like this. There's the heel and then, and then it goes like this for the front. And then this one goes wide and narrow at the front. Rounded. And there you go. And there really isn't a lot of detail. I'm trying to see if there's any like in the reference photo, there's like tiny little uh, details along here, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to draw the heel. So here's the back of the heel a little bit, a little bit thick and then the front is going to be narrower like that and over here you see a little bit of the sole not too much and that's it okay there you go i'm just adding some extra fine details to the wrinkles and stuff and zooming out that is our supergirl not quite done yet because we still have to do the cape and the cape. You'll notice the cape kind of billows to the top part of the boot here. Okay, so from the shoulder to here. I'm just going to draw a line. I'm going to draw it through the arms. I'm going to draw it about this far. Okay, and this one I'm going to, just like a reference photo, it's going to kind of cover part of the boot like this and then goes up to here and if it covers a little bit of your skirt that's fine too I'm gonna to put the cape over the skirt like that okay continue drawing lines going down mm -hmm. now over here, it's it's like curtains. So I'll draw like this little curve here, and then it goes up, and then another curve over here, and then the line goes up, just about that far. And then the line behind it there. So you guys notice it's layered. And then the cape goes out this way. And it sort of, you don't really see much of the cape on this side, but I will just to keep it even looking otherwise it doesn't look right to me if you can't see the cape on this side so i'm just going to draw the cape coming out on this side here maybe not here there you go and a little bit of there there's the hair and there you go you guys this is a more cartoony version of the supergirl uh, costume from the CW show Supergirl uh, doesn't look quite like her I'll try to fix it if I can but uh, for the most part that is it you guys thank you so much for watching this tutorial and um, I would love to see how yours turns out and uh, yeah take care you guys and I'll see you in the next video and you guys that is all the time that we have for this tutorial thank you so much for watching all the way to the very end it is much appreciated if you guys are proud of your drawings i would love to see them so please head on over to the google plus community post your artwork there or head on over to instagram and tag me at draw too so i can see your drawings if you are ever curious about the equipment that i use to do my drawings or to make my videos like this i have links in the description below that you guys can check out there i have you know a list of like the pencils that i use and the paper that i like to use colors that i use so make sure to check that out if you feel like being extra generous i have links in the description as well to different ways that you can support this channel you know your contributions go a long way in ensuring that uh, content creators like myself 
can create stuff for you guys free of charge. So thank you so much for considering. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button down below, comment or hit that subscribe button and share this with your friends in your social media accounts. And of course, speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google Plus, and also on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of this tutorial, as well as the action pose that goes along with this tutorial. So make sure to check all of those out, linked in the description down below. And I think that's it, you guys. Thank you once again. And finally, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next video.